I'm a school kid helping my grandpa clear rocks on a paddock on the farm. It's a hot, sunny day. His old blundstones are covered in dust and he's telling me about a job in the outback that he used to work. He's been hired by the government to deliver supplies to Aboriginal communities. He arrives to find rusting piles of the previous deliveries. He unpacks the latest load of building supplies and equipment and furniture and drives away. He already knows that when he comes back, the only items that will be missing are the mattresses. The community won't use the material to build houses as the government intends, but they'll drag the mattresses away and sleep under the ancient trees. My grandpa has spent a lot of time in the Western Desert and he shares his story with me as a complaint about the resources we're wasting to support these remote communities. It's 2021 and I'm a project officer designing and delivering bike parts all over Perth. One of my projects connects to a local school and runs along a main road. I design a nice and wide government spec path, but when we speak to the community, they hate it. They don't want to ride along the busy road. They'd much prefer to ride on a quiet street a block back, even if there's not enough room for a nice bike path. So instead of designing a government spec path for the community, I go back to the drawing board and I design a bike path with the community. And sure enough, the community is happy. And even more importantly, the kids use the path to ride to school. Instead of providing support for Aboriginal communities, imagine if the government provided support with Aboriginal communities. The opposition keeps claiming that it won't change anything on the ground, but of course it will. Whether you want kids to ride to school or to close the gap, unless you work with the community, unless they have a voice to advise the government, then we're doomed to fail. That's why I support The Voice, because I've seen the way that local voices help decision-making and improve the outcomes on the ground.